At this time, I'd like to bring uh, one of our dinner coaches, Dave Wojcik, to the podium to make our next presentation. Good evening, everyone. It's great to see everyone here tonight. And I'd like to thank the staff, as Andrew said, for a great job that they've done in preparing this event, in running this event, to Bill Tiemann, Susan Samaru, Jamie, and Mark Cox. Give them a big round of applause. It's really great to have two honorees up here who I personally know are great friends of mine and both Hofstra graduates. Go Hofstra. Table over there. Let's go Hofstra. Jack Kays and the crew. One of the most articulate, energetic, poised, charismatic, hardworking, good-looking, athletic, and successful persons I know, Jimmy Cusack. <laughs> Is Jimmy Metzger here, by the way? No. Not many people bring their own photographer to an event. You got to hand it to him. <laughs> but I think everybody should stand up and hold, fold your arms up on the back cover like this and just sit there. You can't pay enough for that picture. You gotta love Jimmy Metzger. If you look at his resume, he has represented various insurance companies in helping people in their health, life insurance, estate planning, and financial needs for years. And he has represented such companies as Chubb, Harleysville Insurance, Merchants Insurance Group, Ace, and The Travelers. I think it's great because every one of those companies, our firm has sued at least a thousand times. <laughs> Jimmy, keep writing those policies. We need you. And the one thing about Jim, you got to realize, unlike Andrew Carrada, who makes money from people living today, Jimmy also represents the funeral business. He's a member of the National Funeral Directors and Morticians Association and represents thousands of funeral establishments throughout the United States. Just think about it. Jimmy not only makes money from people coming through the door, he makes money on people going out the door. <laughs> He's got it going both ways, and people are dying to get in his business. <laughs> Everything he needed to know about business, he learned on the athletic field. Think about it. Everything he needed to know about business, he learned on the athletic field. That's Jimmy Metzger to a T. Jimmy knows the four C's to be successful. Commitment, communication, credibility, and compassion. There is no one who, when they put their mind to it, has a greater focus, a greater understanding of the mission, and a greater work ethic than Jimmy Metzger. He is often misunderstood due to his extreme passion and commitment to his goals. But I can honestly say that based on the close friendship that we have developed over the years, that there has been no one who has ever asked him for help or assistance that he has not helped, whether it's Hofstra University, Big Brothers Big Sisters of Long Island, his employees at the Whitmore Group, his friends and family. He is always there like the Rock of Gibraltar. There are many people in this room who know what I mean. And indeed, we have this very special person who is being honored here tonight as one of the Big Brothers Big Sisters Man of the Year. My motto is success is a choice. And Jimmy has surely been successful, both on and off the athletic field and in the business arena. His accomplishments on the athletic field are unparalleled. He was an All-American lacrosse player in high school, All-County in football, won the Roy Ennis Award as the most outstanding lacrosse player in Suffolk County in 1977. 
If you know anything about lacrosse, it's quite an accomplishment. He attended the Naval Academy Prep School and then continued his education at Hofstra, where I first had the opportunity and pleasure to meet him. He was an All-American at Hofstra, and he averaged 4.9 points per game. Think about it. 4.9 points per game, that's more than I had in my entire career. You would think that he would give me some goals and some assists off his record, but that never happened. Jimmy has learned through ups and downs, through second chances and failures. And I'll tell you this, Jimmy has failed more than he has succeeded, but he never gives up. He always strives for success, and he realizes that he has accomplished this as a result of the guidance, love, and support for many of his friends here tonight, and especially his sisters, Sue and Patricia, his mom and dad, Patricia and Conrad. Please give them a big round of applause. If you look at his mom, you know where he got his looks, okay? You know, I was trying to think to myself, is there a person that you would compare Jimmy Metzger to if that person was alive today? And I think that person would be Vince Lombardi. Jimmy is a modern day Vince Lombardi. He knows that running a business is no different than running any other kind of organization. An army, a political party, or a lacrosse team. The principles are the same. The object is to win, to beat the other guy. It's the reality of life that men are competitive, and the most competitive games draw the most com competitive men. That's why they are there, to compete, to know the rules and objectives when they get in the game. The object is to win, fairly, squarely, and by the rules. And tonight, we're all winners because of Jim Metzger and Big Brothers. To Jimmy, winning isn't everything. It's the only thing, whether it's in business or athletics or a cause he believes in. He is a winner in every sense of the word. He has been on the board of Big Brothers Big Sisters for the last two years, and during that time frame, he has started an endowment. He told me to write more, but I had to cut it down. I'm on the Metzger, Metzger rule right now. During the last two years, he has started an endowment with the largest single donation in the history of Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Long Island to help kids for the future of Long Island. He deserves a great round of applause for that accomplishment. Tonight, he has personally raised over $100,000 for this dinner. Through great people like you who are attending here tonight. And so, Jimmy, it is with great pleasure, respect, and honor that I present to you the Big Brothers Big Sisters 2010 Man of the Year Award for your great accomplishments, your great insight, and your dedication and commitment to a great cause. I love you, brother. God bless.